It is so beautiful here. You got a fire pit, picnic bench, electricity and water. Can't complain. This is what it's all about. Dillard's Pub and Grill. We got burgers, all kinds of good stuff. We're gonna have a burger, we're gonna have a beer. She's gonna check her emails. No! What are you doing? Checking the GPS and how far we are. <laughs> Ten feet away is the ocean, so really nice. There's a little bit of a breeze, so it's kind of comfortable. Uh, I don't know. It's actually a full moon tonight. It's a harvest moon, so we got a little bit of moonlight too. Really nice, nice setting, good weather. And I uh, hope it continues. Get ready for bed, settle in, and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning guys, so we're here, now it's actually light out, you can see a little bit better where we are, this is the bike, the tent, and just beyond that, the ocean. It is so beautiful here. You got a fire pit, picnic bench, electricity and water. Can't complain. This is what it's all about. Now we're gonna make some coffee, wake up, have some breakfast. See you later. Take a 
about 60 seconds or so. We have boiling water. That should be good to make a cup of coffee. <laughs> it's probably not strong enough only for one packet, but it's a small cup. No, it's strong enough, I think. So what is it missing? Sugar? Um, no, it's just not... It's off, <laughs> but it's coffee. I don't care. Okay, so we're off in search of some breakfast. We're gonna get some ice for the ice meal. Really out of the way. Really hidden away, and the name of it is Hideaway Cafe. With good reason. But it looks like it might be nice because it's kind of on the ocean. We'll see. So we just got word that they're closed at three minutes to ten in the morning. Well no, he said he's closed, he doesn't do lunch either. They don't do lunch. So disappointed, but um, we have one other place that we were told about, so we'll check it out. And your breakfast take two, right? All right, at Outpost Deli Market Grill. We're open to have breakfast here. We'll find out. Yes, breakfast 8 a.m., lunch 11 a.m. So I guess that means they're still serving breakfast. Serving breakfast, right? Yeah, you get breakfast. Any breakfast is good. Good. Hungry? Yeah. Take that as a yes. We're gonna chow down. Ha <laughs> ha 
choice of words, but it'll work. <laughs> Hey guys, I just wanted to show you the difference between high tide and low tide. This morning this was all water. And take a look at it now. It's all rocks for a good 50 feet out. Some places more. change. I don't know if it has to do with the full moon. But yeah, it's pretty wild. I'm going to take another shot later on when the tide comes back in and I'll play these side by side so you can kind of see the difference. I think it's pretty wild. Anyway, just my thought. In the meantime, Nina's over there MacGyvering the stakes. Since we don't bring a hammer with us. The rock she picked up. Good job, baby. Get creative. Watch your fingers. There you go. Good job. Now, we did not bring any spoons or anything to stir with, so I had to get creative. Basically, I'm using the packet for the, for the coffee that it came in. Just fold it up a little bit. Makes it a little more rigid. And it works great. There's a spoon. Or <laughs> stirrer, or whatever you want to call it. Do what you gotta do. hours this will all be covered in water again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the little tiny shells. Mm-hmm. The BC is a uh, traffic rush hour. <laughs> Two feet in. 
What's disappointing? We made it. We're here. I know. You thought it would be like a sandbar? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, now it's very milky and murky. Okay. This is deep enough where we can cover half our bodies. There's one more. Floating. Oh yeah. Pretty far in there. Crunching it. You want to take a dip since we're out here this far? Yeah, like that. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I wasn't prepared for this. I don't have the waterproof housing. I'm wearing my glasses. I drop the camera. It's a wrap. <laughs> For good. <laughs> <laughs> so no sandbar, but at least it's nice, quiet, a little bit deeper. Enjoy the water cool off a little bit. That's it. Right into the, into the thickest part of my foot. Mm. Didn't look like I did too much damage. No. Yeah, while we were walking back, she actually stepped on I don't know if it was a piece of coral or something, but it went right through the bottom of her shoe, right into her foot. So, pulled it out. Didn't do too much damage. She can share the water she was on. Or else that would have hurt. who does the hard work and, and, and I got my shirt today to do it positive mind positive vibes there you go so it seems like we got some neighbors here I'll show you look just to the left of that little white rock hole in the middle a little crab right there we discovered there's a couple of others all around here but most of them are buried in the sand right now some of them are huge like lobsters mm, it's gonna feel like going in yeah go ahead go touch them <laughs> let me know how your fingers feel after <laughs> so enjoy my coffee enjoy the view
on the outside not enough to get anything wet nothing leaks from the bottom so overall pretty good I'm happy by the way real quick um, if you guys are going camping somewhere where you know there's gonna be mosquitoes it doesn't have to be camping even if you're just doing a picnic or the beach or whatever um, I highly highly recommend cartridges that you slide there and it has an actual little gas canister that's on the back I don't know if you can see but it's actually kind of low There's a little bit of fuel in there and very simple you just click turn it on click the ignition there and then it lights up it's hard to see during the day but at night you can actually see the little flame in there glowing so you know it's lit I don't know if it's a flame but just a coil that heats up and when we turn this on we were fine once we turn it off mosquitoes came swarming so apparently it really does work so highly recommend it okay time to start stuff away stuff and I fill the little things and whatever nooks and crannies are left. And I just realized I'm an idiot. I put the sleeping bag away, put the mattress away, the pillows away, but I don't have the tent in there. Gotta put away the tent first. So I'll wait for Nina to finish cleaning that up. She gets all the sand out, pack it, and continue on. Works pretty well. Ant and roach killer. I'm gonna buy another one. Okay, so I've got the tent in there. There's what? A lot of ants? Red ants? And in case you guys are wondering, the reason we're so cautious with the red ants is because Nina's highly allergic to them to the point where she gets bit she's got about 15 minutes to get to the hospital or she'll die <laughs> isn't that fun there's a chat and she has a little twin jet injector where is that thing it's a... where is it? see so that that's smart <laughs> we, we have the twin jet injector which is supposed to save your life but we have no idea where it is should be hanging like off a tree or something where we can always see it. Well now it used to be a twin jack, now it's an Well now it's an EpiPen, they changed the name.
years now these things cost six hundred dollars with insurance and they are only good for one year it's gonna be tight but good thing is all this stuff compresses so once you put a little pressure it will close hopefully I may have spoke too soon surprise myself at times. Here we go. It only took me about an hour. <laughs> Should have taken like 10 minutes. I'm actually sad to go. This is so pretty. This is probably my favorite camp spot I've ever been to. I've always wanted to literally camp right on the beach, right on the water. I love falling asleep here in the sounds of the waves. It's really soothing, really calming. But yeah, overall was good. I am upset we weren't able to get a fire. That would have been perfect. I have a fire going right here, right by the water. Next time. All right, that's it for now. Waiting for Nina to get back and get on the road and have some breakfast. Ooh, look at that grasshopper.